that's it. So we're all in. We've got all these lines on. Three lines on each side of the boat. And um, yeah, the wind's just starting to pick up now. It shouldn't really be that bad today. Hopefully with where we are, we've picked a really good spot and just, and we'll see what kind of happens. But at the moment, just about 10, 15 miles uh, west of here, there's 30 to 40 knots right now. And we are sitting at maybe 15, at gusts of 15, so we'll see. Um, so far so good, everything's tied away, everything's strapped down, and now it's just indoor jobs. So yeah, we've uh, we've moved from outside to inside, and in, with the change of weather, Laura's decided it's time to change the wardrobes, and to pack away all of our summer clothes, and uh, get the winter stuff so out. So sad. Like, I'm still in denial, so I'm only packing, <laughs> like, I'm keeping some summer stuff out. Yeah, but it's still early October, you'll still get nice yeah, days. Yeah, but only for like, maybe a couple of days of shorts and t-shirt. So yes, Laura's finally understanding that she's brought far too many clothes, isn't that right? Yep, exactly. So while she's doing that, I'm trying to fix the age old problem of this sink. We've tried it with baking soda. I went under the boat and tried to poke from outside to see if it's jammed in the three hole. It's not. Um, there's a few more things that we can try while we're here. Right now, I'm just going to boil some water and pour that down and see if that kind of clears anything. And then the next step is to go out and find a plunger to try that. But that's today's plan. Maybe to also fix another toilet that keeps breaking and right out the wind in the rain. Right, back to work. Okay, so I think I'm on to something. I got through all that blockage there. I actually got all the grease out. I stuck quite disgustingly. Um, I stuck this big ratchet, like for like a torque wrench kind of thing. Stuck the shaft of that down the whole pipe. It was the only thing that I had that was long and thin. So uh, yeah, it pulled out a ton of grease and like just build up a crop. Um, and yeah, now, now this is happening. Um, and now this is like the fifth pan fill of water that I've gone through. But on the last pass, it hit me. <laughs> Uh, that's the water level of the boat. So now I'm just literally sucking salt water back into the boat. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think that I think um, I think I fixed it. So one of the strange things about this boat is, in terms of the design, is this cupboard here. Um, so we've got the, the double galley here, and then this. Now, as you can see, this also has a drain in it, and I think the logic is you use it as like a, a cold storage. You can fill it up with ice and like put stuff in it, but it is such a waste of space. And for the longest time, um, well, it's always got a drain connected to it. And the drain, when it went from here up here and connected onto the other two that are here now, so there's three of them. Um, and although it seems like a great idea, if you've got a full sink and you're draining it out as it comes up and it's just waiting for the gravity to push it out of the boat it would come up so high that the water would actually come into this and if you're using it for storage like we do, like we used to use it for pots and pans and now we use it for like all this dried food and cereals and stuff like that um, then whenever you empty the sink it actually fills up and goes into this so I'm going to get rid of that if I can get rid of that, that literally is one of the winter jobs done. Um, which, happy days, get something ticked off the list. Moment of truth, it's all connected up. So yeah, this weather hasn't really happened. Um, we were definitely meant to have like 20 to 30 knot wind now, and so far we're still nothing. So, <laughs> so far we could have stayed on anchor. <laughs> oh well, not the end of the world. No. And it gives us an idea of what it's going to be like to be here for winter. Yeah, we um, will kind of catch up on that after. We think we probably will stay here. 
Um, it's cheaper, it's closer to the airport, and there's still a big enough town. It's not as good for boat stuff and boat work, but let's get tidied up. And um, yeah, we have a working sink. How exciting is that? Hey. Very exciting. It's been very annoying not having a working sink. Please, is a mess. Hi, but most of it's yours, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> Me putting all the new clothes away has turned into me just trying everything on. But yeah, find a new raincoat. I am done with this thing. I give. Did I get the camera? No. Look who's that? Huh? You just want to go outside with your girlfriend, don't you? I find a puppy I want to bring on the boat, no and Peter puppy. won't let me. I'm convinced she's a puppy. She's very yeah. playful. No. Cooper. <laughs> Yeah, you're excited to go see her too. He even keeps bringing her toys. No, she's away. She's not away. She's been sitting in that. She went down there. She's sitting up there. She's been up there. She's still in the rain. Oh, the wee princess. Oh, there she is there. I'm not gonna be able to see her there. Just lying in the rain. But yeah, so we called her Freya. Which, ironically, the boat behind us is called Freya, which we didn't see before we called her Freya. So. I just think it's meant to be. No. Why? Why? Why what? Why? One. Perfectly happy dog. Runs around all the people, gets all the free food she wants, all the... And also, we have two dogs on a boat! What? But, like, although she's running about and getting fed and everything, she can you can tell clearly, like, she's the most affectionate stray dog we've met. Constantly coming up, looking stroked. She tried to get onto our boat yesterday and Peter kicked her off. No, kick her off. You did kick her off. Literally walked across the plank and tried to scare her away. No scary. heart. It's so sad. <laughs> storm has passed didn't really get that bad here and um, we made the right decision to come up definitely um, a few of our friends down in like Zante I didn't like Catalonia direction they said that a few boats dragged normally like, which normally does happen um, didn't report any damage now and we have had absolutely no issues here and it's given us a good chance to kind of get an idea of Missolonghi for winter which we think we're going to be doing um, just need to confirm today. We wanted to see how the weather held up first before we confirmed it. Um, but we've been relatively productive. Peter fixed the sink and then today it started leaking so he's fixed it again. He's fixed the toilet. I've done all the loads of washing um, which was like three or four. We had a lot of washing. Um, now we just have to tidy the boat, get a food shop and then we're ready to leave on Sunday to do our last three weeks of sealing. The season and then come back here for winter we think um so we're celebrating with cookies do you want to see but look at that first time i've ever made cookies and because of the fact that they look like cookies is a success in itself so we'll see how they taste in a couple of minutes but the one downside of missalonga that we've found um which is quite a big thing in a way. Like we've decided that here is much better for the dogs in the sense of walking and it's much more scenic. It's not like, yes, there's a city, but we're not right in the city. So it's better to walk them and we can choose to walk the city if we wish to. And the marina is much quieter in a much more uh, isolated area as well. But the biggest downside of Missolonghi is there are a lot more dogs here, um, which is not great. Uh, sadly, this little one, Got attacked again today, didn't you, Mrs? Yeah, and big brother tried to protect you, or little brother, should I say? Big in stature, but um, <laughs> personality. But um, we do think it it kind of got her on what side? Of, yes, this side um, of her stomach. But we think it still just got her fur. Um, we can't see any wound marks. She hasn't been scratching on it. She hasn't been licking it. Um, nothing. So. We think it's just literally nicked her fur and thankfully Peter did, well not in focus, um, 
Peter kind of approached the dog. I took the other dog, the, both our dogs away, and Peter kind of went and approached the dog. So considering getting a stick to walk here, we're considering doing that because like if one of us, especially like if I ain't going to be going home, what is that noise? Oh, people are swimming in this water. That's disgusting. It's not very clean water. Ooh. Um, But yeah, so I'm going to be going home as a surprise to my family in November. I'm going home to work, but my family don't know, or no one knows apart from Peter's dad, that I'm going home, which obviously means that Peter will be here by himself. Um, and walking them by himself is quite nerve wracking because at least whenever it's the two of us, Peter can kind of stop the other dogs coming near us and I take the other dogs away. Um, so yes, we're thinking of getting a stick, hopefully. Um, that'll deter the other strays away, but it's so sad. I kind of want to volunteer like an animal shelter here over winter if I can um, because like <sighs> Peter's going to be so busy and I know I should be helping him but there's only so much I can do because um, Peter does all the edit and he's doing all the boat work oh the cookies are meant to be done but I really don't think they're done oh they're starting to mesh together yeah they're not ready yet um, but yeah I'm just rambling now I have no idea what I've just said but yeah storm's over we survived, really wasn't that bad. Um, but yeah, now for the next three weeks of sailing, hopefully. What is going on with my hair? Oh dear. So, it has been about a week since we last picked up a camera. Uh, we, we left the marina after the storm passed, only to then come out into the anchorage right beside the marina for another storm. Basically it's rained for two weeks straight. It's gotten way colder, as you can tell. We've got our dressing gown, house coats, blankets, and Laura's even got a hot water bottle. the first hot water bottle of the year. <laughs> so that's why we haven't really filmed anything. It has been, we literally have not left this spot in what, a week? And we were in the, and we were in the marina for four days yeah. before that. So yeah, it's it's been pretty horrible. All the all the leaks that we didn't know we had, we now know we have. So we've got a big one right here, which is apparently is quite normal. So the bucket there, a really bad one right here. It's bad, but pure. It's bad one for the leakage. It's leaking Two through these plugs. The and so we have buckets to catch the water there, and then we have another one in the actual bed. So yeah, we've had. We've been here, we've had th up to 35, 40 knots of wind, so... I just saw me sitting in a corner there and I got look around my life. I know, it's, it is horrendous. So yes, we'll talk about why we're staying here and um, all of our many plans for the winter. Give me that. <laughs> one, of the, one of the priorities when we bought their boat was not heating, and that is maybe a regret at this point. Yes, we are staying in... <laughs> Lovely. I'm sorry. I just love how ridiculous we look right now. <laughs> We're staying in lovely, summery Messalonghi. Um, but yeah, it's it, it is actually a nice place. It's oh no, it is a, a The town's actually really nice. Um, the weather does put a damper on things. Yeah, we so. haven't really got. The, is that sun? Uh, it's right in your face too. Why is it? As soon as we put, we should maybe what? fill them more often. That is full blue sky. That is the first sun we've had in like a week. Okay. And it's black over there. I'm not as black over there. What? Was it meant to be like this? No! Laura, focus! Sorry. So yes, we're staying in Messalonghi. It's a... Uh, what are you looking at me like that for? Oh, oh my good. word! So yes, we're staying in Messalonghi. It's um, it has actually a very nice town and um, it's, a, it's like an actual live like a big community of people who live here so it's not like a holiday place at all so it should be open during winter the reason we're kind of staying here is because we've actually met a few people who are also staying here and it's lovely <laughs> lovely so with that in mind what are we doing over winter uh i'm going home yay you want rid of me no uh, who's I... gonna do the cooking But yeah, you're going home for not going home for not, nearly the whole month of November. Yeah, pretty much, but minus a couple of days, and then possibly considering going home on Boxing Day. Yeah, which 
is the one I really don't want to do. However, financially, it makes more sense. Um, yeah, so Laura can go home and get work kind of all willy-nilly whenever she wants to, which is a really good thing. It's, I, it's yeah, very beneficial. I'm, I'm very fortunate with my current like, so, job um, at the minute. Because of that, and we need obviously the money for next year, because we spent way more this year than, than planned. Um, so right now, if we if Laura doesn't go home, there's no next year really, or at least there's a couple of months, but that's it. So unfortunately, she's going to have to go, and I'm going to be stuck here doing the boat work. And if the weather's like this, it's going to be pretty hard. It's going to be very difficult to do um, anything with the weather like this. Because so we don't. Ha so now it was not on our agenda at all. But now the first job is to install heating on the boat. Um, yeah, I didn't think it would get this cold this quickly. It's literally I expected the, this middle of November. It's the middle of October. From people who live here, they've said this is very uncharacteristic of October. Um, mm -hmm. And even from talking to people throughout the year, we met a couple of charter people. Can you come up, else? Met charter people who would charter at the end of October and typically would say it's nice. But we've the, just had... It, it has been two weeks. And next week the, we the, the weather is looking a little more promising. There's actually sun on the forecast. And that's the first we've seen for over two weeks. We have two more weeks left before we go into the marina um, and we do want to go out again and get yeah. one last thing. One last Just to break up. Yeah. Like, I feel like we haven't actually officially completed our season. Like I would like to go somewhere and be like, right, Yeah. this is it, this is it done. So it's it's been um, it's been good to test out this, this little town or the city to see what it's mm -hmm. like um, and to meet people who are going to be here. So it's been great for that. But yeah. yes, so Laura's going home, and while Laura's at home, and then when she's here, there's a lot of jobs. As I said, the first one we're going to do is the heating, and that's just because of how cold it's been. Um, and more than that, actually, it's not even the cold doesn't bother me that it's much. The dampness. It's how wet and everything it is, especially with dogs. Um, tiles up, trying to dry anything, it is impossible. Like um, we we have trainers that got wet. The day, we, the got day we got here, which was two weeks ago, and, and they're, they're still, still soaking. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it is pretty crazy um, how damp, and we didn't, again, we didn't really expect that, so it's, but it's no. our first winter, so... Wait, well, we're not going to know what we're doing. No. But big job-wise, what else do I have? Batteries. Yeah, we need to do our batteries and inverter. I don't know if I can do it, but try and figure out our autopilot, because it doesn't work all that great. Um, even things like our anchor light, still not sorted. Um, lighting around the boat in general all needs to be done there's um, a lot of stuff that needs to be done in interior wise and then like even like sh fix not fix but like sort out the toilets and the showers and the taps and kind of replace yeah, some so of those you things sink, tap. um yeah there there is a lot there's, a lot. <laughs> there's there's enough to keep me going for the four months that i'm going to be here four months there's enough to keep you going for four years y well yes and on top of that i also edit all the videos and walk the dogs because i'm out of the country you made that sign like I'm gonna be doing nothing. Um, but yeah, so Mesa Longy is gonna be our base now for the next six months, and we've got after this video we'll have a, one more, m maybe two more out off the marina, actually exploring, mm. enjoying stuff. Two. Well, one more at least, um, if we can get the weather for it. And then yeah, it's time to get ready for winter and get the job started. Our season has almost ended. So thank you very much for watching. A um, bit of a different, boring one. Very boring. Um, and yeah. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. As the sun comes back again. Oh my, my days, face. are you serious? <anyway, <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you and see you later. Bye. Bye.